I'll be demonstrating the colour consultation. Uh, we're going to just get started. I'm just, first of all, I'm going to show you the client, Donna, and I'll be introducing you probably in a minute, but I sent her this um, list. Okay, and you, you will all get this. It'll be um, posted online on Image Consultants United Group, preparations for an online colour consultation. And there are quite a number of things that you, you've got to get your client to do prior to. Okay, some of those things would be, you get her to confirm the date that you've set up, the time and day. So, you know, I always want to make sure that we're on track for that. Um, also to select four or five items out of her wardrobe that she absolutely adores. And um, just to check in back with what you've decided for her. And chances are, if she's also got an idea, and which Donna will have, um, what really suits her, then it's going to be perfect for the colour profile or the swatch that I'm going to offer her. Um, she needs to take some very close up photos of herself in very good lighting. Uh, and not direct sunlight, but in very good natural daylight. So we did get those photos and they're really good. First of all, this is Donna. Some of you might even recognize her from this. Okay, so very clear shot. She sent me two. Here's the other one, very, very similar. Okay, so I'm, I really did get a very good indicator as to her skin tone, her eye depth and her eye colour. I also got her to also do a very close up of her eyes. Specifically, this will be very good for me to determine one, um, whether she, we're going to be offering her deeper colours to wear or lighter colours to wear no jewellery. Uh, one other thing which was really important was to ensure that when she's online on this um, colour consultation, she's in similar light. Okay, so that was very important for me to be able to just do that double check online as well as uh, what I printed down on my, on my printer. The photos that uh, Donna sent me, um, I did print down, which is what I just showed you, but uh, if you're not on a Mac, um, I'm not sure what the colour resolution is on a PC. So if you're unsure at all, or you've found that the colours are not quite true, you might want to get your clients to post uh, the photos directly to you. Okay. So, okay. Well, I just, first of all, I wanted to show you my desk setup. Very simple. Mind you, it's minus a, com a computer. So I've got my colour profiles out. I've got my colour, uh, the swatches, based on the photos that I did uh, get from Donna. Um, I also chose some of the, uh, the colour profiles that I'd really like to cross check to make sure that uh, we get a very good result here. So that's all I needed. You don't need anything else. So these are the two photos that I got from Donna. Uh, one was in slightly shaded, um, lighting the other one was in straight out natural lighting and also this is the close-up of Don Donna's eyes now this is step one in our system where I look at the depth of eye color and then I choose whether we're going to go down the deep side and and go down that thread to cross check color directions or we're going to go light now we could have gone either way with Donna because her eyes are not that dark but they're not that light either. But I chose in this instant to go down the deep side and what I will do is cross check back. So right at the very end. Okay, so between deep and light, I thought knowing Donna very well that the lighter colors were a little bit too lightweight for her because when she's made up, she loves you know wearing very intense um, lipstick colour. She loves her eyebrows being quite deep and I thought look the lighter colours are not going to do her as much justice. Let's stay with me on this one and I decided to go deep at this stage. Now this is another interesting one. You'll find that there's a quite a crossover of colours in these two colour profiles and um, the one on the left primarily very cool colours, 
the one on the right, especially in those, those end colours, um, quite warm. However, the mid-range colours are usually a bit of a crossover in all colour profiles. Uh, so in the deep profiles, cool and warm, you get some blues and purples that are quite similar. But however, I'm looking at these and I can see that the one on the left, which are the cool colours, there's no real marriage or correlation between those colours and Donna. Now, I don't know if you can all see that, but the one on the right, I can just start to see now the colours, especially the ones on the ends, that, um, and, and they really look like they fit for Donna very well. Donna's colouring, for some of you, and I agree, that it's actually softened. You know, she's, she's certainly not got any real uh, contrasting colours happening. And when I first met Donna, she used to have bright, vibrant, Titian coloured red hair. And of course, you know, I always saw her wearing wonderful, you know, in the seasonal system, spring colours and they just look great. The muted colours on the right are just a bit too muted. You know, they're not reflecting what I know Donna as having quite a, a vivacious out there personality. So, yeah, and I don't want her disappearing into the wallpaper either. So I'm going to stay with the one on the left. Here I've got some colour uh, color profile that is actually quite interesting. It's, um, it's called our warm and bronzed. Now these colours have got the edge taken off, so they're not as bright. Um, they're still richly warm and they're not deep or very light. They're neither and yet they've got the edge taken off. And I'm thinking that this one here is the one that actually works well between these two. The deeper one on the left is too deep. The one on the right is, I'm actually quite happy with that. So let's take a look at this. So warm and bronze, there are those colors for Donna. Donna, how do you feel about those colors? I think they're luscious. Nice word that, luscious. <laughs> <laughs> so here is Donna's Ooh, lovely. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Really lovely. They look a little bit bright there, but they're not. So if you can just understand that we're in very bright lighting here. So Donna, we did get you to pull out some clothing. So would you like to show me some of those clothes that you've pulled out? And I'll see if they're in this colour profile for you. Oh yes, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Now that is that colour we've got in the wardrobe basic sections of your colour profile. You can see. Oh, yeah. Yes. So there's a whole variation of that same colour. How beautiful is that? Yeah, look at that. Because yeah. it's got a bit of a, a metallic thread through it. So there's oh, a few of those colours that show up when I when I move it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful ethical piece by Elk. These could be sort of the start of a wardrobe. You know, you wouldn't start off with something like that, but you might start off with some of these basics. And that's why we call them wardrobe basics. They're all very wearable for me. Mm. This is a little velvet number I got when I was in Berlin. Um, so it's got this beautiful teal velvet, but then it's also got a bit of trim, which is How quite you? fun as well. Yeah. Do you believe all those colours just happen to be? <laughs> <laughs> this was not pre-arranged, people. <laughs> no, amazing. That is amazing. You've, I think you've also got a quite a, a lovely, oh yeah, you've got a berry colour in there as well. So we'll pull that out. Look, this is just a, a quick view of some of those colours you've got in that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. How lovely. Well, they're all in that uh, pattern at the bottom. Um, I have another, another red, and that's not white with it. It's a real cream, that colour. There's the red. white. Yeah. There's that per perfect red. Mm. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Well, you're right on your reds, that's for sure. <laughs> and even the colour we've got on right now is that um, it's almost that... This colour here, which is your... Yeah, very, very close. Yeah, this is a great neutral for me. I wear this colour a lot. It's a real go-to, yeah. Lovely uh, olivey colour, beautiful. Mm. And what else did you... You had a coat, I think. I remember... Two coats, yep. 
I have this one. <laughs> Here we go. Code is the very first one, which is just. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. lovely. Might be able to see it a bit better behind there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. I have one more if you'd like to see it. It's a purple. Mm, purple, that's right. Oh. Yep. Here we go. I've got you've got a couple of really rich purples here. Um, that is even a warmer purple that you've got on there, but that is lovely. Mm, mm. Yep, that fits. Yeah, lovely. Great. Well, I'll be sending you this colour profile. Now, your hair colour, I do remember it being quite like that really rich Titian red. Okay. Yeah. Yep. photo of you, uh, the way I remembered you um, all those years ago. But this is something you've decided you're going to go in this direction, is it? Yeah, um, I'm not dyeing my hair anymore, but I am using a colour shampoo. It just warms it up a little bit. I'm not ready to embrace full grey, but I also don't want to be dyeing my hair anymore. So I'm finding this a quite a good compromise. Mm. Um, and as you said, my, you know, my skin and my eyes have softened and I don't want to be overpowering the softness in my face by having a very strong hair colour, although I do love that colour that I was when we first met yeah. five years ago. Um, it's a decision. I guess it's a little bit of a compromise. Yeah, it's a decision. Look, it is. A lot of my clients are making that decision. And I think um, a few more might be making that decision if this whole lockdown is going yeah. <laughs> Well, I am thankful that I, I'm not reliant on anybody else for my colour now. That's um, a real blessing. <laughs> Your coloured shampoo, and that, that's a great idea. But I was also going to suggest that you get your hairdresser to give you the colour, the actual concentrated colour that is right for your hair and uh, mix it in with your a conditioner. Mm. And it'll just enhance it a little bit more. You're still not dyeing your hair, mm. but it just adds that little bit more to a conditioner because the conditioner, like shampoo, you're washing it out, but the shampoo, mm. you're really uh, washing it right out, where a conditioner, there's something that still stays. Again, if you get your hairdresser to give you something like that, mm. Just to mix in with your um, conditioner. Now, here's another idea because I know you love your lipsticks and I know how you love your eyebrows. There is always brightness around your face. So I'm thinking, look, would you consider doing some just some highlighted um, foils in the front, just mm. to give a bit of a lift around your face? Yeah. Yep. I have thought about that. Yep. And I may well embrace that. My hair is. Um, Oh, people people often comment on the colour of my hair. I think because they can't quite work it out. There are quite a few colours going on in there. Some mm. people think I'm a redhead. Some people think I'm a blonde. Um, blonde is not... Uh, it's not where I've been. <laughs> so it's funny to hear myself being called a blonde. Has it changed the way you... Um, some of the colours that you wore when your hair was quite bright. Are you making different decisions now about? Uh, a little bit, but, but not overly. As you said, I do wear quite strong lipstick mm -hmm. and um, I do love my bright colors. I just love color. So I haven't toned it down that much. No, okay. Well, you're definitely going to be on track with this. So I'll be sending Donna this color profile. It is called Warm and Bronzed. This is part one of a colour consultation. So what I'd be talking to Donna about would be her business neutrals. So Donna, do you do uh, corporate training? I seem to think that you do. Not so much these days. I certainly used to, and I worked in corporate for many years, so I'm certainly used to um, dressing corporately. If you had a, a client that was um, more in the corporate world, then maybe their corporate colours could, they look very cool, but in actual fact, there are warm greys, there's still the navy, there's still the charcoal, and there's the soft white as well. So they could be the, the, the first pieces of um, business wardrobe that they might think of getting. And then they have some lighter colours, so they are the, uh, the pastels. So wardrobe basics for Donna would be this, and we saw some of those colours come through. And then her very best colours, of course, 
are all of these amazing remaining colours. But at the very front, in part two, I would be talking um, with my client about the reason why I gave her warm and bronzed. Okay, so I would mark her up as being slightly on the deeper side, definitely off scale on the warm side, and out of clear and muted and bronze colour, she came up better as bronze. So Donna, you are definitely bronzed. And on the back of each one of these colour profiles, we also have symbols, um, which I would then go through every one of these colour chips. And it doesn't take me very long at all, but um, I mark up what is great for wearing near your face and makes your eyes pop. Also, what is great as a, a basic body colour, like whether it's jackets, skirts, pants, suits, coats. And the other one, the little A symbol, is what we call an accent. Um, you know, if we found that a colour in here would be just absolutely amazing, it might be even a little bit on the brighter side, that would be an accent one, but always going in the warm and bronze direction. And this little symbol at the very end, uh, it's just like two little arrows going in two different directions. If I found a colour in, in any one client's colour swatch that she either didn't like or she wasn't sure of, or I thought, oh, maybe we can just do better than that. And there's very few, very rarely we find that. But I would mark that as a mix, which means that it would go into a pattern, maybe, or a, a, a check or a, a tweed or something like that. We also go into metals. so. Um, so we've got all our white metals and our yellow metals and also the universal metal, which happens to be rose gold. And uh, a nice little addition to that is gemstones and precious, uh, precious uh, stones. So we do have um, some recommendations regarding makeup. Now, Donna, I've never seen you wear makeup that doesn't suit you. Um, but for those that um, are really changing their colour direction and they need some ideas around lipstick, eyeshadow and um, blush colours, there they are right there. And finally, in this little um, section of this colour profile or swatch, there's also how to use it. So, you know, if Donna, I know you know how to use these, but if it was a client of mine, I would be saying, look, they need to, the colours need to be held away, at least an arm length or two arm lengths away from any garment uh, because these are, this is a blending tool and it's not about matching the colours exactly. It is a blending tool. If it's close enough, it's close enough. Have you found that while shopping? If it's close enough to... Yeah, yeah. Understanding those qualities of the colour are the, the most important thing. As you said, it, in this example, it's the, um, the bronzed quality to the colours. Yes, because although you've softened, uh, grayed down colours, which are muted colours, were just too uh, insignificant for you. Whereas you need... Wash me out, yep. Yeah, those wonderful, rich, round colours, yeah, were just what you needed. So part two, I would be uh, talking to my client once she had received this, and I've got the the same one in my hand. So what I would be doing is going through and choosing the sort of uh, signature colours that would be absolutely wonderful for Donna, like her teal. Um, also her eye colour in that lighter teal uh, or that tealy green, which would be stunning as a signature colour for you. Okay. And then the very opposite. So I'm looking at, say, your brick red. Any of these colours are actually going to make your eyes also pop. Mm. Mm. You know, so that is the part that when I go um, to part two, my client receives this, she contacts me and we arrange another Zoom meeting and we finish off her colour profile. So she's marking it off with an indelible pen on all the little symbols on the back of the, um, the chips and then she's got it complete. So there we go. I think we have really complete. Donna, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. You're very welcome, Evelyn. Thank you. Thank you. It was a good experience.